In this video we're just going to talk about OpenGate on the Panasonic GH6 and sort of the settings around it. So the main reason really you would be shooting uh, using the sort of 5.8K OpenGate on the Panasonic GH6 is when you're using anamorphic lenses. So you could shoot in that 4x3 mode and de-squeeze back to um, a regular kind of frame size. But in this video we're, we're just going to cover using traditional lenses and why it might be useful for um, more sort of traditional video. So you'll have probably seen this camera build as a 5.7K camera that can shoot up to 60 frames a second. And then when we come into the camera, you'll notice that um, if we, I've set a Q menu up on mine so I can access all my controls from here. So if we come in, we can see the shooting modes and we can actually go up to 5.8K. Um, so you're probably thinking, well, why don't they advertise the camera as a 5.8K camera if it's capable of shooting that? Well, the sort of reason is that um, the the top mode that you could shoot 16 by 9 video in is 5.7K. And when we come up to this 5.8K mode, what they're offering is a, a basically a full readout of the sensor. So nothing sort of left untouched. So you, you're just recording the full sensor. And... It, it does just come out as four by three. So if we jump into it, you can kind of see we've got these black bars down the side. Um, and if we were to come back to uh, 5.7K, just at, at 50 is fine. You can see those bars now are gone. That, that's a full 16 by nine. So you might be thinking, well, what's the point in, you know, what's the point in shoot, shooting open gate if I then just have to crop it straight back to what it was originally? Um, the, the idea of it is it's for people that are shooting lots of different frame rates. So let's, uh, sorry, not frame rates, frame sizes. So let's say, for example, you're shooting social media content for a client um, and they're likely to want that in all kinds of different formats. So, um, you know, 16 by 9 for YouTube, 9 by 16 maybe for um, IGTV, um, you know, or things like TikTok, it could be uh, one by one, 16 by nine. There's all kinds of different platforms now that all want different types of video size. So when we're shooting, ideally we get one shot and then we can repurpose the footage. So having OpenGate just gives us the full sensor to be able to crop to all these different sizes. Um, it is only available in 25 frames uh, on this. So this is PAL, so 25 frames on mine. Um, and that's fine for a lot of scenarios. So, you know, say somebody's um, talking to camera, you, you'll be able to film that, no problem. And, you know, you'll, you'll be able to get just that little bit of extra wiggle room to reframe in. Um, a, a nice feature that sort of sits alongside that, if we come into the menu, so menu in the middle, um, and then we come up to the, the video menu. Uh, actually, sorry, no, the cog menu. Um, and then the second camera down, we've got monitor and display video settings. Uh, you can see down here we've got the uh, this option called frame marker um, and we've got the option to set it on, set it off or actually set the marker. So if we go into the set options um, you can see we've got these three different options and one of them is the frame aspect. So 16 by 9 for most of us is probably just going to draw a line around the outside of the video because you know we're mostly shooting 16 by 9. Um, unless you're shooting, you know, anamorphic or, or something like that. But for most use cases, 16 by 9. So um, we've got anamorphic markers in there anyway. Um, 4 by 3, 5 by 4, 1 to 1, so square. Um, and like I say, things like 9, 9 by 16. So, you know, for a phone, people viewing it vertically on a phone. Um, and you can even come down and you can do custom ones if you want. So let's say, for example, um, we want to do... Uh, shoot for vertical and um, you know 16 by 9 as well we can come in there uh, you can set your frame color uh, I'll just leave it as blue because it's not too important you can also change the opacity of it if you feel like it's a bit dominant on the frame and it's covering what you're shooting um, you can change that but we'll just keep that as it is at the moment um, and then if we come back out of this menu um, what we need to do is actually set it to on as well just because we're in the set menu doesn't mean it's actually on so if we click it to on and then we'll come back to our video um, and then you can see what it does is actually it just crops the whole frame down so we can actually see there um, we've got 
you know what we would see on this kind of mobile device from the shot we're getting so if we come back again we can come back into our frame marker and then actually let's set it so that the frame mask is like 25 percent and then this is a bit more usable if we want to use it whilst we're shooting um, so you can see your full frame and you can see your 16 by 9 frame um, and like I say you, you can do this for um, a variety of sizes so it, usually it depends on the type of shot you're doing if it's a locked off static shot you maybe just want to have a look at it switch it off again if you're kind of trying to follow this as you're filming if you're doing a, like a run and gun type thing it's obviously going to be a bit harder but you, you can sort of use these a, as a rough guide so if we have it set to that again and for example we just maybe we want to do it square so we can just see there in square you can use things like the um, uh, the the guides on the back of the screen as well for um, working some of it out but it's just a nice useful feature to have I, I actually kind of wish that Panasonic had sort of taken it further and given us the option in here under the frame markers to kind of come in and actually have multiple markers and I know you're probably thinking that's just going to be a mess on the screen, but um, I'd find it really useful to have a 9x16 and a 1x1 one one, both up together. And then it saves me having to sort of punch in a few times and kind of work this stuff out. It'd be really nice to just have an overlay. And then, you know, I have this set up in my quick menu anyway, so uh, I've got it here. Um, there's a video linked about quick menus, but, you know, so you, you can just come in, switch it off. It's easy. Come back, switch it on. So it's pretty easy to come in and do it, but I would appreciate it to sort of have a few, you know, overlay options there. But hopefully that's kind of given you a bit of an idea of at least, you know, what shooting in OpenGate is and how it could maybe be useful to, um, to your workflow. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Um, if you found the video useful, then um, please give it a like and um, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content on uh, GH6.